Hello, this is Frederick Holmes of Frederick Holmes & Company, Gallery of Modern and Contemporary Art here in Pioneer Square, Seattle, Washington. I'd like to take a few moments and present to you some works that have been recently installed here in the gallery by Seattle-based artist Michelangelo Cacci. And yes, Michelangelo is in fact his correct name. Michael was born to an Italian-American family in um, New York and uh, settled in, here in Seattle many, many years ago. Um, these are works that are uh, the product of uh, Michael's own invention, or Michael's own development of using both painting and photography. Um, Michael has a background in both, and what he what he started with was what he started with was a series of works that incorporated photography and collage and paper, um, all of which kind of overlapped each other, and they were kind of interesting. And then, of course, finished with resin on panel. Um, but these, these most recent works are the ones that I've really always had the most interest in. Uh, these, this is, these are uh, works that um, really have borne fruit over the last couple of years uh, as Michael has refined his process. Basically what we're looking at here is each individual element within the composition, from the bird to a flower to the bits of grass, uh, a, a blade of grass, uh, flowers over here, whatever the case might be, these have all been printed. Uh, the digital imagery, the oftentimes of Michael's own creation, of Michael's own photography, sometimes appropriated online, and um, they've all been printed on different types of film, different sheets of film, and then cut out. And they're layered on top of each other, so we get this beautiful kind of um, overlapping of imagery as well as color. The peregrine, of course, was an image that Michael found online and appropriated for the use of the image. He also, as, you can, as you've seen here, um, using the same technique for the framing of the work, which is a rather interesting technique, a rather interesting kind of novel way of doing it. He doesn't really do this very often, but I, I found this really kind of fun. Look at that color, beautiful. Uh, the next piece we're gonna take a look at, oh, excuse me, this is called Blue Peregrine. This is from 2022. And this is uh, 34 inches by 45 and a half inches. The next work we're gonna take a look at is an older work. This is from 2018. And it's from a series that Michael did called God of the Ring Made Man. Let's get up close here, pardon the glare. These are very reflective because of course they're finished with resin. Um, I'm going to back up here a little bit. God of the Ring Made Man was a series that Michael created that were essentially metaphors. The metaphor being, in this case, the, uh, the fact that um, certain cultural traditions and customs and paradigms, um, over time, as humanity progresses, can become anachronisms, such as the case with the bullfight. The god in this case, who is made, is the god made man in this case, is the matador, um, honored for his courage and his honor and nobility, and in the bullfighting ring, made a god. Uh, if you, as you may or may not know, matadors at that time were often seen as the celebrities of their day. They were the, the Brad Pitts, the Johnny Depps, uh, you know, you, the Tom Cruises, name your celebrity, but they were the huge in their day. Um, but this is a beautiful work. In this case, Michael has uh, painted a full canvas uh, in abstract various colors, and that's what's underneath all of this. The image of the matador was, of course, appropriated from online, and then Michael played with the image digitally, creating a much, much more kind of expressionist type of uh, figure. He deliberately left the face blank, just a little bit of color peeking through. Um, the rest of it is just all color. I love the way he also did this line right down the middle. It just kind of, it kind of um, underscores the position of the matador, who is standing forthright, almost like challenging, and very assertive, very powerful, very, um, again, kind of the nobility of the, uh, the matador. And of course, in between each of these layers, and this is true for the Peregrine piece as well, are also layers of 
resin. So within each composition is probably about a dozen different layers of film and resin and film and resin and so on and so on. So these are phenomenal works that take Michael anywhere from six to eight months to complete from the point of conception to completion. The next piece we're gonna take a look at over here is a recent work. This is the most recent work that Michael has completed. This is called The Code of Many Colors version two. There was a version one that which was completed a few years ago and sold almost immediately. This is the uh, white wolf. Look at this. I love him. Let me get close here because the expression of the wolf, which of course was appropriated from online, is just one of relaxed courage and, and like the royalty of wolves. Um, look at the colors again that we have here. Most of the foliage and the flowers that we see here are, um, again, Michael's own photography. Um, the ladybugs. Uh, I love these. They just add a nice kind of charming uh, characteristic to the work, little charming details to the work. Look at the way the flowers, these um, red roses, blend into the blue roses. These were filmed and these were uh, me, printed on two different uh, layers of film and where they overlap, they kind of become this purple. The colors of these um, will change depending on the viewer's perspective, not dramatically, but subtly, but enough to definitely whether it's noticeable. And the wolf itself is printed on dichroic film, so it has this kind of translucence, which is why it's not pure white. It's got all these various hues of lavenders and blues and yellows and golds, and, as well as whites. So Michael Kachi's Coat of Many Colors version two, this piece is 47 and a half by 71 inches. I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. This has been fun, just presenting to you some of the more recently installed works of Michelangelo Cacci's here in uh, Seattle. So join us once again the next time. I hope you subscribe to the channel and if you live in the area or visiting the area, please visit us, Frederick Holmes and Company, Gallery of Modern and Contemporary Art, 309 Occidental Avenue in Seattle, in Seattle Washington. Thank you, bye-bye.